I see that you created a video for using Canva to create YouTube thumbnails, but do you also have a video on how to create Facebook cover images? You know what? Great question. No, I don't. So let's create a video right now and make that happen. Let's go ahead and go to my favorite website for creating any type of image, and it is canva.com. You guessed it. This is canva.com, and once you have an account, your dashboard or your main page will look like this as well. And once you start creating images, then they will all be listed right here under your designs. So I was going through and creating a lot of different images here recently, and I have not actually, here's a Facebook image that I just created not too long ago because I wanted to update the background to reflect my online course that I'm launching, or it's in the process of launching right now. The official launch date is March 1st, 2021. We are just gonna go back to the beginning and I'm gonna show you how you can very quickly find or search for the Facebook cover image options. So in the search bar, you can simply type in Facebook and it will come up with all these different options. If you want to create a Facebook ad, an app ad, a cover, an event cover, a post, a shops ad, everything Facebook related. And you can see when I highlight over it, the dimensions are over here to the, to the right. So you don't have to research and wonder if the research you're looking at is different than any changes Facebook has made since then. This one is actually going to have your most up to date dimensions and there are so many different templates that you can choose from. What I had mentioned is we're going to go in and do a Facebook cover image, which is 1640 by 924 pixels. And by clicking on this, it's going to open up all the templates that Canva has available in both the free and paid versions. So you can see here, these are the initial templates that are displayed. In the bottom right hand corner, it will tell you if it's paid or free. And the images in the bottom right corner will quickly tell you if they're paid or not. You can see the ones that are free do not have it, but the ones that are paid, they do. If you have a certain look, or if you have a certain font or certain colors, which you most likely do, or if not, you should <laughs> for your particular brand, this might just help you kind of hone in on a particular look and feel that you want. Any of these templates are a starting point for what you want to create for your Facebook cover image. And that's what you can do. If you want, if you know that you want to have a cover image that has three different photos, but these aren't your, your brand colors or your brand fonts, then we can simply go in and here and change the three photos, update the font and the colors, and you now have a Facebook cover image. It's very simple. If you click on this, you'll see that these are two different font types and obviously colors. You can ungroup them and move them around. And then if you want to group them again, you can just simply highlight one, hit your shift key, highlight the other one or click on the other one and then group it together if that's what you want to do. If you want to play around with them, then you just ungroup them and you can simply change the name of this. I'm going to just say Ken K Marketing because that's the name of my business. And instead of this, we're going to say marketing plus sales plus customer journey. Whoops, journey, if we spell it correct. And I want it to be all one line, so I'm going to do that. So you can see if they were grouped together, this would be misaligned. Just by highlighting it, the line that goes down the middle, you see the pink line, that tells me when it's centered. So I don't have to guess and try and determine whether or not it is or not. And then if I wanted to change these photos, it's as simple as clicking the image and then finding new images. So I can go to photos and you can see here, these are all photos that are in there currently. Same concept, if there's no image in the bottom right hand corner, then that means that it's free. So you can go through these right here. These are showing you that these are the ones that are trending. But if you know for a fact that you want to have a background that is, um, let's say that it's race, racing, for whatever reason, just to search for something that might be different. <laughs> so I can see that there's different car images here. A lot of these are paid. They've got this little image in the bottom right hand corner. 
pro means that you need to upgrade in order to have access to it, um, again, because it's paid. So just for the sake of having images in here, I'm going to show you how easy it is. Did you see I just highlighted it? I hold the mouse down on it, and then I can just drag and drop it over here, and it's that simple. And because I'm doing racing on this, we're just going to make them all cars. You can move them around. I can change this background color. Click it. Highlight the, click on this one right here, the color square instead of color wheel. <laughs> and you can see here that these are the colors that are currently being used in this template. These are not my colors, so I just highlight this and change it. What you'll also notice here is that with the three photos that are in here, so no matter what the photos are, it's going to automatically bring in the colors associated with that photo. Pretty cool, right? So if you're using photos that you took specifically at your office or in your building or at an event, then those colors are going to be brought in as part of that photo. And then you can use those same colors in your font, your background, or anything else in this particular image. So it makes it super easy for you to do and for you to use. My colors are not orange and black, um, you know, like they have up here, but they're more for the sake of doing this simply, you can highlight these and just change them um, here. But if you wanted to put in your actual colors, if you have the, the code, then you just type it in here. And mine is B12226. And that's the red color combination for my, my uh, company. And I can change the font here. Very simple. We're gonna change it to Open Sans and then we're gonna bold it. So you can see how easily that that changed. If we want to change this background again, just simply highlight and let's just say we're going to make it a, a light gray. Ooh, no, that's not good. <laughs> we're going to keep it white. That looks best. Mm -hmm. If for some reason I wanted to animate this, which you can, Facebook cover ads can be animated. So if you wanted to animate this, you click on animate and then you can choose how you want that to look. And if you highlight over the option, It'll show you what it'll look like before you actually click on it, but you can just click on it and it'll show you over here too. Okay, so you just highlight it and it'll show you over here what it would do. So there are five options up here that are free. These again are paid. And then here are photo animations down here where it does something different in each photo. You can see the zoom effect in each one of those. So that's why these are separate, but these three down here under photo animations are also free. So a lot of different capabilities. You can also change the timer on this. So let's say you're wanting this to be 10 seconds or two seconds, then you can just simply click this and change the number of seconds that this takes to actually display all of the animations. Because this is for Facebook, I particularly do not want to have any type of animation on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and say none. So it'll automatically take it off. You can name it here. And I'm just going to say Vicky's Facebook cover image. And it tells you here that all changes have been saved. It automatically saved. So yay, right? And then I can just simply click here and download. It defaults to PNG, which is suggested for a Facebook cover image, but if for some reason you wanted to use this for something else, then you have other options here as well. So if I added animation, then I would want to save it as an MP4 video, which would be the default here if that were the case. So if I kept the animation that would be listed here, and then you just click download and it'll start downloading it for you. Let's say that you wanted to very quickly upload images instead of use photos that were already in Canva. You can upload images here by simply upload media and uploading from there. You can also upload videos and if you have audio clips that you want to use in this or any type of image that you create, you can do that as well. And it's just, it's super easy to do. So if I wanted to use this image, again, this is a race, so maybe I wanted to show a different type of racing, but I could put that in there. Same thing, drag and drop super easy. If you wanted to add elements, you can add elements as well. So you have a lot of different elements that you can add. I wanted to add this in the middle 
and white I can't see so I'm going to change this to let's see what it looks like if it's black that's kind of cool maybe it's a little bit too big but I did mention that I'm not a visually gifted person correct <laughs> now you know why so we can do this and obviously do whatever you want with it but I'm just showing you the different capabilities text you have all kinds of different fonts available you know some that are already styled and pretty cool looking so you can glance through here a lot of free ones as you can see and these are grouped but if you want to like this one right here is grouped together it'll default like that but if you just want to use this top one and not this one then you just simply ungroup and then you can delete this one and modify the text here and use that font now you know what it is, it's Yaseba 1, and you can use that in the feature. You know what it's called now. Super easy. Um, audio clips, there's a, there's not too many free audio clips, but there are some in here, so you just need to go through and see what type of sound that you want, and then you can use those in your images as well. Video, you can either use what's here, or you can upload your own, like I mentioned. You can change the background. There are um, plain images, or I should say plain colors, which you can get from the color square instead of color wheel up here. But if you want to have a textured background or some type of image like clouds, those are here as well. When you have a paid version of Canva, you have more capabilities of like resizing if you wanted to remove the background of an image, if you wanted to um, create separate folders for maybe different clients and you want to keep everything in here those are included in the paid version of canva so if that's something of interest then you would need to pay for that version in here which would be the canva pro but if you're just looking for a great easy to use tool that has a lot of different capabilities visually and if you're visually not gifted like myself then this is a great tool for you to use so hopefully that was helpful. You would simply then just take this image, go to Facebook and upload it. So let's go there real quick and I'll show you how easy that is very quickly. But all I have to do is click on edit and choose from photos or if I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna upload a photo. And let's go to downloads and it'll be my most recent one. So we'll click on this one and open and watch, it'll just automatically put it in there. So I can actually go here and change it to fit. I'm not gonna save the changes because I don't want this as my background. <laughs> so I'm gonna cancel this, but you can see how easy it was to go in here and change your background image. So you will have to play around with it a little bit depending on what screen you're using. If you're doing this from a laptop like I am, if you're doing it from a tablet, and if you're doing it from a um, mobile phone, then you'll want to take a look at that as well and just make sure that it looks correct across all devices and all screen sizes as well. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. I will get to you. If you are new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. I share a lot of different marketing type tools or tools that you would need for your marketing roles to help with generating sales. And then also I review marketing strategies and tips and customer journey type topic as well as content related topics. So if any of that is of interest to you, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell notification so you get notified when I upload new videos every week. Thank you so much for being here and until next time, make today great.